been an incredibly difficult day today. But DOA helped me a ton. I set up a thing where, you know, now I can use a thing called Cash App where you guys can donate something and um, PayPal, those two things. So anyway, it took us forever because I had, <clears throat> excuse me, some other separate account. And um, I lost all you guys. I don't get this. I, was, I meant to ask them about that when it goes away. Oh, there you are. Hi. Hey, hi. Um, anyway, it's one of those things where it, it was a surprise to me. And a bunch of people already sent me some money, which thank you very much. Like, like uh, DOA said, you know, I've been an activist. I love it. I've been an activist since. Uh, um, 2000 I've been speaking out and I've had a YouTube site since 2008 so I have like I think it said five it sounds like 5,000 but maybe it's five million I forget it's really a lot of views <clears throat> and he was just like when he saw what it how goofy I am you know it's like I don't really know computers but I just persist at it and stick at it just like this hi each of you thank you for coming on I appreciate it and thank you, Lovett, for moderating. I appreciate that, too. So tonight, this is going to be very short. I just cannot believe it. I literally can't. Um, Phil Jones, I told you, came and put up that sign. Hey, from Alaska, hi. He came up and put up that sign. It's a billboard. Just saying, if you want to leave, call this phone number, right? That was it. That's all he said. And... They have already, first of all, by the time we went from lunch, he put it up at nine in the morning. I had lunch with them. By the time we drove over there, which was like one o'clock, they already had a huge blue crane up in front of the phone number. And then apparently they put something else up. And now apparently they've taken it down. And and I'm just like, what are they thinking of? You know, these are people that told me when I was in which was for 30 years, but towards the end in the 90s, they told me one of our big goals is to be thought of as a real religion. Well, good luck on that, Scientology. I mean, when you when someone puts up a billboard just saying, if you want to leave, call this number, and you have the gall to block it, and hi, SPTV Tattoo Warrior, hello. You know, if you have the gall to take the thing down it's like what are you thinking of it, it's total suppression of free speech number one total the other thing they do is break up families and how that works is if they are in and their family doesn't want to do scientology they're they send, send them to ethics and they say look you know this person is anti-scientology so that's a very bad catalog so either you get rid of them or you get them in, one or the other. That's it. You know, it's really creepy. <laughs> you you can leave a religion, you can't leave prison. That's that's a good point. That is a very good point. That's a good quote. Hi, everyone from the UK. It's 3.45 in the morning here. Wow, that's, that's early. So uh, you don't sleep anymore. <laughs> I, I, I'm I not going to really tell you a big, long story tonight, I don't think. I'm, I was just going to tell you about this sign and that Scientology, it has been kind of shocking for me. And it was I think it was shocking for, for um, DOA to find out that, you know, people inside really do not know about this kind of shit. Just like the sign. They don't know about it. They don't know that. Scientology took it down and all this other stuff. They might see it went up. They might see it went down. They're like, oh, I don't know. Some, you know, some some person put it up. You know, it's just, we had to take it down. You know, it's something against Scientology and we don't want it. You know, that's it. And people in are already like so pro-Scientology. And they're, they really set you up early on for us against them, right? So you're already like, oh, Who's people, right? They don't know who they are. They've never had to met them. Lots of love and the best wishes from the UK. Wow. All right. You're awake too. Okay, good. And then there's someone right above you. I'm trying to do this so I don't, I'm not in front of the camera. Irrelevant Panda. All right. I'm in Monterey, 
I think you've been Monterey County. If you did, you're lucky. That's a beautiful place. My friend Vicki Berry lives there up in that area. And I always tell her, I say, you know, if there is a heaven, you guys from Monterey and Carmel and around their seaside and the guys from Norway, you're going to walk in and go, this is it? This is this is all there are those areas. Oh, my God. Um, you have all these non-sleepers. Oh, sweet. Well, it's uh, midnight with Magoo. That's what it is. Even though it's not really midnight, but it is it is for some people. Washington State, hello. Uh, I was up there for a while. I liked it. It's a beautiful state. It's very pretty. There's a lot of really pretty areas in all of the United States and all of the world, really. I mean, I we look at different places all the time, and there's just beautiful areas that you wouldn't think are as pretty as they are. Thank you from Oregon, sending love. I know it's story time with Magoo, so I, I've got to think of a story to tell you guys, because I just wanted to tell you about the sign. I mean, that's kind of amazing in itself, isn't it? I mean, doesn't it kind of shock you to have these people say, we want to be a real religion, and then they're taking down a sign that p someone paid? And the reason, just so you know, Phil, Phil Jones has been working on this for years. Because he, why? Because he has two kids that are in Scientology. And those two kids have not talked to them since they joined the Sea Org. So it's like, just imagine for any of the parents, if you had kids that would never talk to you again. You know, it's really awful. And so he has done all kinds of different programs to try to get his kids to talk to their mother. And will they? No. Mm -mm. So... Miscavige, you can keep doing this shit and running these programs, and I know he's not listening, but somebody is that works with him, and this is really stupid. Hi from Toronto. Wow, since Dancing in Boston, Magoo Dancing in Boston. That's right. A video that I was only out two weeks when I made that video. Um, yes, it's horrid. As a parent, I can't imagine it. I know. I can't either. So I'm happy to help Phil, and I think we're, I think, I talked to another mother today and we both you know she originated she said you know really this has had such a huge impact this billboard she didn't even know why but she said boy it has taken off and it's around the world oh, yeah that's right i think i have to go this way so that my fingers aren't on your on your face there there you go right is that right or not i think so i think it is anyway um she suggested billboards all over the place. And I thought, yeah, we could. We could start a fund and just put them up here, put them up there, you know, put them. I mean, it's not that there's that many people in Scientology, but she was very excited about it. And I am too. I, I'm really impressed. And, I mean, it's always impressive. Ooh, Tori Chrisman, thank you. Thank you, love it, for putting that up there. That's right. My cash app. That's really sweet of DOA. Oh, yeah, I see that. Then that way it does put my fingers in front of you i see tricky i've got to get a tripod that's all there's to it i do because it, it's it's too hard to hold this and do that so that's pretty much it i mean i scientology has consistently for years do i know an actress named kathleen oxenberg no her daughter was in the cult and she had a terrible time getting her out i know it's very very hard my favorite story of people leaving was when Anonymous was picketing in front of the complex and this mother, and I was with him, and this mother called me that night and she was crying. And I said, what's, what's up? And she said, my daughter's been in Scientology for years and I've been trying to get her out. And tonight she called me and she said, mom, I realized those kids are out there having so much fun. And I realized I could be with them having fun. And I'm not having fun here. So come pick me up. I'm done. And she left Scientology forever. Isn't that a great story? And that was just from anonymous out there with their cake and dancing and music and just having fun. You know, it's a totally different feel than being really serious and mean and you're bad and you're wrong. You know, it's like people, you know, just think of what you're attracted to. I know I need to write a book. I've been told that for 24 years to write a book. I know. I know I need to, but I'm not a writer. And so, as you can see, I've made many, I've made over 900 videos. So 
I, I'm happy speaking. I'm just not happy writing. I always, I've started it for 24 years and I get going and then I think, ah, who cares about this? And that's it. That's the end of it. So I really need someone who is a writer. They love to write and they go, I love her story. I'd like to tell her story. That would be really great. I'd be so happy to get out to tell your story. I'm so happy you got out to tell your story. Thank you. I am too. It, it's a wonderful thing. And it's been a delight to meet everybody from all over the world. I know my story needs to be heard. And I feel that. That's true. Um, if you just start dictation, you're right. I've heard that too. Um, wait, if you, wait, let me see this. Ladies over lunch with Tori. It could get crazy. Oh, that's fun. All right. Well, send me a little private message and maybe we can set it up. Ah, wait. No, I lost all the people again. I don't get it. Somebody's got to tell me that. How do I lose all the people? You could narrate it in tape and then pass to someone to transcribe it. That might work, but I think it's better to have someone asking you the questions or kind of guiding you. You know, it's like it would help to work with someone and have them. I love seeing you live. You always put a smile on my face. I just, I'm just here. So I apologize. Oh, you just got here. Okay. That's good. Well, I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Um, I got Now I got to go all the way to the top because I feel guilty. So I just read hers and I didn't read all of yours who've been here. So sweet. So nice for so long. Thank you. All right. So let's look at this wolf machine. Thank you for your hearts. Irrelevant Panda. I love that name. Anna Banana. All right. Good evening. Okay, Michelle. All right. Janie. Hi, beautiful Tori. Thank you. Welcome and chatter. Hi. Okay. Hi to you too. Nancy and Kelly. Kelly in BC. Okay. Love the hearts. You did amazing tonight with DOA. Oh, good. Janie, you heard it. Yeah. It was it was quite something. I mean, it, but it really helped me. You see what I mean? When he asked me the questions, then it kind of directs you to something. Hi, everyone from Connecticut. All right, that's cool. Hi, Falling Star. Hello from Maryland, from Anna Banana. Hi, Tori. I see you have a mod now. That's awesome. From Nova Scotia. Oh, I almost had some land there in Nova Scotia. Someone gave it to me and... It's kind of a tragic story. My roommate passed away and I felt like his daughter, he, he left me some, a car and some money and I felt like she, he'd helped raise her. So I gave her the Nova Scotia thing. But later I thought, well, she's got a bunch of land anyway. I should have kept it, but I didn't. There you go. Howdy, OG, thank you. You can leave a religion, you can't leave prison. That's a really good one, love it. All right, Janie. Hi, everyone from the UK. That one we, I already talked about. Okay, Irrelevant Panda. Okay, you're talking to somebody else. A beautiful interview with DOA tonight. Thank you. Thank you, grandkids. Wow, grandkids galore. <laughs> That's a great name. for some, You must have a bunch of grandkids. Irrelevant Panda, I'm in Monterey County. Ooh, lucky dog. Janice, hi, Tori. Lots of love and best wishes from the UK. I'm awake. The reason why I'm reading, reading these is because as soon as I end, they're gone. I, I never get to see them. So checking in from Alberta. All right. The, the nice squirrel. Okay. All right. Janie B. Hi, Janice, fellow non-sleeper. Oh, okay. Hi, Tori from Washington. We already talked about that. Sending love from Oregon. Okay. Story time. Yep. Have you been to Canada? I have. I went to Toronto. They had a SB convention and I was invited invited to it. And it's it's a lovely area. It really is. Um Washington this is state beer as well. Uh, I suspect the thing that kicks me off the most is that the billboard cost wow, fourteen thousand dollars. Of the money that we all donated to to 
eat after? Well, I don't know. Do you think all, do, do you think, did the aftermath pay for all of it? Um, yeah, I think they'll get it back. I really do. I don't think it's gone. I, I, I could put money on it. It's not gone. They'll have it up very soon. Because it, I don't know what happened. And if you do know, please let us know on this. Because I'd like to know. I mean, I just heard that it was down, but I don't know the, the real thing. Hello from Toronto. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You were awesome. Everyone needs to watch that video. Yeah, dancing. Magoo dancing in Boston. That's what it's called. Um, yes, it's horrid as parent, right? He should put up five more billboards now with clear channel main competitors. With clear channels main competitors. Ooh, no. We got to just do five more with Scientology and, in, in, you know, set up a fund so that it pays for it. According to Phil, he paid for it himself. That's what I think. He did. He's paid for a lot of stuff. Believe me, this guy has paid for it. If you think of anybody not having put in time or money, Phil has put in his time and money trying to get through to his kids. He really has. And I, I just can't believe they they still keep him from him. Okay, good. So I have the cash app. That's right. And um, that's a good way. Okay. I hope now the news stations will now pick up the story. That's a good point. That is a very good point. I'm going to start calling them tomorrow. If it's not back up by tomorrow, I'm going to start calling the news because that's a good thing. Janie, do you know the actress? Anyway, you already asked me that. Um, oh, my God, it's 1050, and I have to get up at 6 a.m. I'm an old AF just waiting for you, Tori. Aw, thank you, Renee. Well, go to bed because you, you're going to need your sleep. She was a dynasty. I, no, I don't know her. You need to write a book. Thank you. We already went over that. I know it. Um, my heart, I hear you. I think we all of our hearts hurt for Phil tonight. But you know what? Something good is very good is going to come out of it. Phil is a very strong man. I will tell you that. He has been through so much. And we, many of his friends, have tried to help him. We were really have for years. So this is just another thing. You know, it's another thing trying to get through to his kids. Um, okay, I'm so happy you got out. I know, me too. Your story needs to be heard. I hear you that. Tori, if you just start dictation, maybe we can find you a, a writer. Yes, yeah, so, uh, I don't think so. It's like, I, I need someone that's going to go, let's do it. The, you know, we're going to plan it out. We're going to do it. We're going to get it done. You know, that kind of thing. Instead of like, the the other way, it's the same as me just writing it. Um, For me, that's the way it is. All, 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 thank you for being here. You're welcome. I do that all the time. Oh, she's talking to Renee. Okay. Um, You could narrate it in a tape, true. All over the world is so nice. That's right. It's really beautiful. All over the world. So, Ted, Tori, I love seeing you live. You always put a smile on my face. Aw. And you just got here, so I apologize if you got off topic. And now, I think I got off topic, but I was mainly just talking about this billboard that Phil put up and, and the aftermath, and, you know, they took it down already today. Hi, Tori, good to see you. Always nice to fly. live. Thank you. Hey, Carrie Ann. Janice, I heard somewhere that little David is having to pay taxes. Not sure if it's true or not. Random thought. I have no idea. Super pup, hopefully you're RNSP. All right. Okay. And Tori story time. That's right. It's midnight with Magoo. All right. I've always felt like your eyes are like a warm hog. Oh, that's nice. That's a very sweet thing to say. Thank you. I can't quite read your name, except I think it says something. I, I'm not sure what it says. I'm really not, but thank you. Question. I, but you should just say warm hog and then put your name. Type it out because I can't read that. It's too little. Do you feel like 
this protest has a better grasp on Scientology than others? I wouldn't say it has a better grasp. They have a better technology, which is live video. This is the first time. See, before Scientology could say, oh, you spliced it, you changed it, it's been altered. Now with live TV, it doesn't work that way. It, you know, live video, it's live, it's happening. That's it. This is what's happening. So it's, it's, I think it's the technology more than anything. Um, I think the protesting has been, I, I was talking to the mother today, just reminding her that, you know, the years people have been protesting. So all of it matters. It really does. I always say every vo voice matters. Hello, my dear. You're looking very lovely this evening. Thank you. I'm. It's been a long day because DOA helped me set up a Cash App and PayPal. And I don't know why it took forever, but it did. I'm myself. That's why I'm saying if anyone has the story, I don't know. I just know that it was up and then it was gone. And I don't know exactly what happened. Your heart is so pure. Okay, thank you, Janie. All right. Okay, here we go. I agree, and G-T-S-Y. I don't know what that means, but it says witness. Okay, so gnome, you've got to change that. That That's too hard to read who you are. Okay. Me and Taz, that was nice of you, Tori. You can always come and visit Nova Scotia. Oh, that would be nice. Do you return the phone calls? I do. I do. Hi, Tori. From the Gulf of Mexico, been watching your fabulous videos for years. Ah, oh, thank you, Martha. And Chi Chicana. Yay, Tori. Thank you. Sandy Hill, sorry I'm late. Don't worry about it. Um, and I'm trying to tell you what happened. As much as I know, we've got to find out from somebody else. Um, hi, Tori. Haven't seen you in a while. So glad to see you. I know I've been up. If you look on my site, if you go to live, there's a, I redid the whole escape series. So I did the whole thing last week. It was really fun live. Um, maybe intimidation. I don't think it's intimidation. They just don't want Seahawks seeing that number because they'll they know they'll want to leave. <laughs> Leah says the company caved to COS. That sucks. If that's really true, that is awful. I mean. I still think it's gonna it's gonna be way better PR for us and for Phil than if they just would have left it up because it's one of those things you know what I mean it's like anything you just leave it be and people are on their way but you do this kind of thing and people are like wait a minute it's a church and the guy puts up a sign because he can't talk to his kids well what's that about first of all so there goes the whole message on Scientology breaking up families. Thank you very much, Scientology. Yeah, he paid for the boat donations with do he paid for the billboard with donations. Sandy Hill, I'm not sure either. Okay, Tori, what is David Miscavige like? He's a the, I only met him in person. He came to the Sandcastle. We he ripped off everything we had on the walls. He got rid of all of the fun. He said, the party's over. This has been like a camp. It's over. You guys you have to dress a different way. You have to look a different way. I mean, he was just a complete ass, really. And he, and, and it, that remains to be true from everyone that's worked with him. So that's what he is. He's just a jerk. And obviously, you know, he was trained by Trump Hubbard. So, you know, what can you say? I mean, they're both kind of knuckleheads. Apparently, the company that owns the billboard was threatened by Scientology. Boy, big surprise. You know, but look what happened the last time they threatened something. That's what brought on Anonymous. They threatened to take down. They told YouTube, you have to take down the video of Tom Cruise or we're coming after you. And that's when Anonymous said, no, no, you don't own YouTube. We do. We're the people. And we're going to shut down your website for three days to show you that we own the internet. We, the people, own the internet, not you. And they did. They shut down their their thing for three days and then did some serious picketing. I was with them. 9,000 people in one day in most major cities in the world. It was amazing. Yeah, Phil's story is sad. Of course it's sad. Every parent 
Phil isn't the only parent. He's just a very activist parent. But many parents have lost their children and grandchildren. I have a friend who's never met her grandchildren because of Scientology. Thank you. I, I try to be as brave as I can be, but, you know, I appreciate that. Leah Rebeny said Clear Channel, who owns the billboard, was pressured by C of S to take it down. That is pathetic if that's true. I I just, I can't believe someone would be that petty. You know, it's just petty. You want to be thought of as a real religion and you pull down illegally or pressure the 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 billboard sign company to take it down? Mm -mm. Not a religion, Scientology. No, no, no. Doesn't work that way. There is no reason they would put it back up. I don't think that's true. I don't. I think it'll go up, back up. Great interview with DOA. Thank you. Thank you. I haven't seen it, but I appreciated his questions. I really did. Um, Clear Channel has media billboards all over America. Scientology probably said they would kill contracts. Interesting. Interesting. Zedu TV strike again. Hello from Atlanta City. For anybody in Clearwater, please, if you can, vote for Mark Bunker. I think this is the last day. Or it's it's one of the last days. But anyway, go to the polls and vote for him. Because there's many more Republicans coming out than Democrats. And he's on the Democrat side. Go vote for him. We need him in office. I want him reelected. That's it. I had I had to step away for dinner. Ah, oh, what's down? The billboard sign. They took it down. Tori, the problem is the news networks seem scared too. That always happens. That Scientology's been terrorizing media for years. I hope Clear Channel returns, fills money. Yeah, I do too. I hope they put the sign back up. I think I I know Phil. I'm pretty sure they'll get it back up. Just like the companies in Leah's lawsuit, they folded to pressure from the cult. That's pathetic. Okay, here's a question. Tori, there's so much hate about Mike Rinder. Oh, please. Yet he did so much good for so many years. Now, do you think about him at this point since you actually know him uh, where most people do not? I don't really know Mike very well. I know him. I know him some. But I don't I don't really know him like I know my really close friends. But I know him and I I've been in his position where people attacked the shit out of me. And I can just tell you, I know what happened with um it's Miriam, right? Is that the right name? Anyway, I I mean whatever happened there was a mess. But I say Mike and she should sort it out. And my, I know Mike went to an attorney. But from what someone else told me, some of the questions were so tricky, it was like he wasn't going to win either way. You know, so I understand, you know, he probably got an attorney and to help him out on it and not the best thing. But there, this other person told me there really wasn't any way it was going to work out where it was going to be good. And 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 that's too bad. But I think the guy's done tons of good work. He hasn't said everything. I agree on that. But, uh, you know, people do what they're going to do. And, they, and and I I think everybody needs to give him a break while he's recovering from being very, very ill. And that's not an excuse. That's just saying when you're down and you're, you know, you're very, very ill, which he said he is, it, you know, it's time to give the guy a break and, and move on. You know, I just think, oh, my God, this is such a win for Osa. And I know Osa has very well planned it in to some people. Oh, anybody mentioning Osa is full of shit. No, I'm not. I opened up the phony accounts. I know what I'm talking about. And I'm telling you, I watched them in action. And their goal is to distract off of Scientology, divide and conquer and slime the area so nobody wants to even go there, right? Those are the three goals. Distract off of Scientology, which is Hubbard, Miscavige, the Church of Scientology. Second and most important is divide and conquer because they know once everybody's fighting, they can go to dinner. And that's a true thing with Yachty. He told me, bingo, we got it. And I said, you got what? And he goes, ah, they're going to be arguing for days, weeks, months. I mean, believe me, we got it. 
let's go to dinner. That's what he said. And he lit up a cigarette. And I'm like, okay. You know, this is before I really understood what was going on. You have a whole new generation of friends, fans. It does feel great to have a whole new younger or younger and older, because I've had a lot of older people write me too, thanking me. And that's wonderful too. I mean, I really, really appreciate it. It's like, like I said, I've always said it. Every voice matters. They do. Um, you enjoyed your video with DOA. Oh, good. I got to hear it. I haven't heard it. Scientology had a, a building in a city that was not kept up, uh, yet put up a tax. Oh, it vanished. Mm. Okay, it went away. Damn. Okay, let's see. Let's see. That, that I'm in late. Okay, I agree with you, Tori, from Witness. Tori, I've been following you for 15 years. All right, Jared, thank you. Thank you very much. Clear Channel does what the money says. $4 billion buys Clear Channel free speech in a heartbeat. Wow. Well, Taking down people's signs when they've paid to put them up isn't free speech, if that's what you're saying. Um, thank you for your kind words to each one of you. I'm in late, but I'm here. That's right. That's all that matters. Probably Scientology did pressure on Clear Channel, then removed the billboard right after Clear Channel approved. That's pathetic. Vote for Mark Bunker. Yes. Okay, I'm so happy you're back on YouTube. We've been Facebook friends for years, and I keep meaning to fly down ooh, and, and drive around L.A. to visit. Okay, please do. Oh, wait. Where did you go? Ah, shoot. That's, that's difficult when I, I lose these things. Let me see. Laura said someone stole it, and they might have. Anyway. Oh, Laura. And, and they might have a video of the. The white fan. Jeff said he thought they tampered with the the light hours before it was ripped down. Hmm. Well, I I'm not surprised. I'm not shocked. You know, like I told Phil, be prepared. I knew they were going to tag it or something. Then I then we saw the crane and it was like, okay, great. They've already blocked it within hours of it going up. And now within a day or two, it's taken down. You may have the title of real religion, but you are not a real religion. And you prove it every day. Hi, Tori. Love watching you. Thank you. Just catching up. Need to get back in step with things. What is this about? Aaron was not kind. Okay, th this whole thing with Aaron and other other activists is a huge product for OSA. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to get into it anymore except to say I'm not going to get into it, okay? It's like it is not my thing. I'm not going to do it. For love for my moderator, please just that's it. I'm telling everybody now, I do not want to get into this activist uh, one activist against another one. It's not okay with me. It's 100% one of the goals of OSA. OK, I work for them. I know what I'm talking about. It's not maybe I didn't hear it. I don't think it. I know it. I was part of it. I opened up the phony accounts. OK, so I'm not going to get into that. I'm not going to give them the stat. No, that's it. And they, they've already gotten a great stat today. Now, where did everybody go? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the OG of the SP. That's right. I am. I know what I'm talking about. And, and and I'm just saying this, I, I, I've had it. You know, it's like, that's it. You know, it's like, stop giving OSA statistics. And people, I've heard other people, oh, who cares about that? I don't care about OSA statistics. Well, if you say you don't care about OSA statistics, what the fuck are you doing here? That's what I have to say to you. You don't understand what's going on in this game if you say that. I'm just telling you, you don't understand what's happening, really. And thus, a lot of shit can happen. If you understand what's happening, it won't happen. But if you don't understand it and you negate the people that are creating the most abuse, then, you know, you stand alone on that. It's not with me. And, and I'm just saying, I, I, I won't go that way. I'm not going to give them their stupid statistics. That's right. 
I stay quiet to keep the channel mellow. <laughs> Love it. I'm not asking you to stay quiet. I'm just asking you to, you know, keep, you know, this kind of stuff where, you know, it's just icky stuff. Thank you. Thank you, just a kid from Maine. Oh, that's a cute Nick. I agree, Tori. It just takes away from the the real gold taking down to the church. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Care for JCYT. All right. I'm not sure what that all means, but I agree with you 100%. I'm glad you're on our side. I am definitely on your side. Love it. Are you still here? She's definitely here. Um, You are grand pooba of the chat, Tori. Your words are giving some grace to others. Well, that's good to hear. Thank you so much, Lynn. That is very sweet of you to say. I appreciate it. You're doing right, Tori. Don't answer against others. I won't. You know, it's just sort of, no, I'm not going to. Um, you tell them, Tori, you're right. I mean, I'm very passionate about it because you have to understand they weaseled me into it. So I know how people can get weaseled into it. I opened their phony accounts. You know, with them making me think this is right, this is good. You're helping Scientology. No, I wasn't. I wasn't helping Scientology at all. I was helping OSA stop free speech. And once I realized that, I went, I'm out. That's it. And and I left Scientology shortly after that. Um, have you seen the people on TikTok messing with the Scientology Recruitment Center? No, but I hope. Oh, yeah, I saw. Um, Streets, Streets LA. He's very good. He's very good. It was really funny that they tried to recruit him. He is a riot. If you haven't seen him, he's on YouTube, Streets LA. He's really good. And DOA, who was at my house today and helped me, he's he's another really important person. And of course, Jessa Pompadessa, who taught me. She was the first person to do a live video with me. Tori, the OG of SPs. Okay, so we did that. All right, so now let me just click on the bottom and see if there's anything else. If anybody has any questions, I'm so glad you got up. Me to amen. Okay, and and you love William. Okay, Jan loves William. Okay, all right. Well, okay. I'm happy people love each other. That's a good thing. It's always a good thing. All right. So, hey, Janet. Um, do you does anyone have a question? Because if not, yeah, another Tory live. My crabby day is suddenly turned into sunshine and rainbows all right that's that that's a nice thing to say make me feel fiona thank you i appreciate it that's right jan street it's streets la that's actually what is his thing is on youtube streets la and jessica pomadessa you got that right she is fantastic. I'll tell you, if you go and look at some of her short videos, I, I just posted one on my Facebook site because it's so funny. I mean, she's very creative and she's very funny. So I'm happy she's going to do some more of those because she's really good at it. And, you know, humor is a really good thing. It helps people wake up. I do think so. I still don't understand why you flew. Wait, wait, wait. Don't understand why you flew down to Florida when you were trying to escape. Okay, which part of it didn't you understand? I mean, it's it's like the Lisa McPherson Trust was helping people get out of Scientology. I, Andreas helped me wake up in Norway. When Once I woke up and he said, what kind of friends would those be if they're gonna leave you because you changed your mind? That cracked open my Truman Show. And I realized it's just like Truman ran into the wall, right? If you haven't seen the show, watch it. But he ran into the wall and that was it. He saw the stairs, he climbed out, he's free. That was me. It was just like me running into the wall. Now what? What do I do now? And I said to Andreas, I've got to talk to somebody that knows about it. And I just wrote all about that. So you can listen to the escape series and that explains it. But frankly, Bob and Stacy and Jesse invited me to Clearwater and said, look, we're just doing for you what we wish someone had done for us when we left the Sea Org. So they flew me down there. So I wanted to get away from LA. I'm 15 minutes away from Osa. I know those guys. And I knew then they would come and capture me. And, you know, they worked at it. They were at LAX. They were in They were in Chicago. They were in Tampa Airport at 1.45 in the morning. They were after me. 
because I knew their top secret stuff, which I'm still talking about to this day, if you notice. And um, that's because I can speak from experience. That's a very important thing when you can speak from knowledge and experience about something and especially stuff they don't want known. They don't want anybody to know it. Well, guess what, Osa? I have a couple of critic friends who have photographs of me opening a phony account. <laughs> so there's actual proof of it. And anyway, now I lost all the critics again. All right, I'm going to have to go to the end. That's interesting. Is OSA a, a separate operating system from Scientology? No. 100% Scientology is like an umbrella. And all these front groups, the Office of Special Affairs, everything else, all part of the Church of Scientology. They all report their statistics up lines every Thursday before two. That's it. And that's how you know they're part of the church. All right, so where did they go now? Now they vanished again. Now everything vanished again. Okay, just the way you said, the way you described how you felt about how it works. Okay, it's interesting. Is OSA? No, it's definitely not a separate thing. It's, it is separate in that there's the Church of Scientology by itself, which is, you know, they do auditing and training, right? That's what they do. But then there's the Church of Scientology International, and they're the umbrella with all these front groups underneath them. Narconon, Criminon, Way to Happiness. We had Narconon, Dave Turetsky, who's a professor at Carnegie Mellon. He and a bunch of people found that Narconon had been snuck into every public school here in California. And so he called me and said, look, you know, we've got to have someone that was in Scientology to speak about this because we've exposed it. But, you know, you were in. So I said, well, have the journalist call me and I'll see what I can say. And the, basically the main line that I was quoted on is 100 percent. The Darkanon is under the umbrella of the Church of Scientology, like all their other front groups. So they kicked them out. They gave them two weeks to change get rid of all the religion because there's a, you know, the, in the United States that you can't have a crossover of religion and state. And so s public schools are state and Scientology is under the umbrella of religion. So they said, no, you got to get rid of it. And they couldn't. So they had to, so they had to kick it all out. So I always say to parents, if whatever state you're in, if you're in the United States, Check it out. Find out if there's any programs running from the Church of Scientology or Scientology at all, like Way to Happiness, Narconon, Criminon, Applied Scholastics, any of those things. They're trying to get them in all the schools. So believe me, you got to check it out. It's up to the parents. I don't know. I lost you guys again. There you go. Thanks for doing a great job. You, oh, oh, for love it. Yeah, Thank, she is doing a great job. Tori has been speaking out for <laughs> free for 24 years. She will be monetized soon. Her cash app is at Tori Christman. That's right. So you can go to, um, it's, it's a link underneath by, for more information about Tori. And it's got uh, the cash app and the PayPal. And either one of those, they work. I, I already got some money today for the first time in 24 years. It was really something. It really felt good. And I really thank the people that chipped in a little bit because it's not much for each person, but it means a ton to me. I mean, it was tremendous. I mean, it was really tremendous, especially after 24 years. Like he said, I have like 5 million views and it may be more. I can't, I can never remember that kind of stuff. <laughs> and DOA really got to see a little bit of that today. Oh my God. We had a day. We did. We had a day. And he really helped me. Thank goodness. Um, okay, now let's see. Narcan had late night PSAs and yeah, across the country in the 80s, 90s, and, and the 2000s. Yeah. They took the billboard down. That we know, J Jesse. Um, for your information, Scientology is not the only cult group that sneaks into schools. That I know. I mean, that I know. But I particularly care about Scientology. Every, somebody else can worry about the other ones. 
uh, spend it on something nice for yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. I will. I think I'm going to get, I'm going to try to get a new camera, number one, because this camera is awful. And, and if I get enough money, I can get a new camera. And it's like, oh, I have this thing. I swear to God, it irritates me so much. It's like every time I do anything, like if I, if I look at a photograph and then I go back to Facebook or if I look at YouTube and I go back to to photographs or whatever, every time I do anything, one thing, it goes, you just saved so much, um, so many megabytes. What is this? Is this Scientology or something? Can you hear that? That's weird. It sounds like a bomb or something outside. Very weird. I got to go see what this is. No, I'm not going to. It's very spooky, though. My house is shaking. It's spooky. All right. Anyway, let's hope it's okay. This is the end. You can say, I saw the last video with Magoo. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, it. I wouldn't put it past him to blow up my house. Go for it. David Miscavige, you give it your best shot. Fuckheads. And Yachty, I, you are pathetic. Okay, get Anonymous a girlfriend. <laughs> I just, I think it's a big car. It's some kids with a big, you know, one of those really loud, deep. Frankly, they give them tickets here in Burbank if they if they hear about it. If I get off and it's still going, I'll call the police. Because it, it really is off offensive and they call it sound pollution. Um, everyone donate to Tori. Oh, thank you. Uh, spend it on something nice for yourself. Thank you so much. That's a nice reminder. Don't say that, sweetheart. Don't say what? Or the bomb? Don't say what? Ooh, it stopped. Yeah, I think it was somebody's car. That's what I think it was. Thanks so much for the effort you make to answer our questions. I've learned so much from you and your older videos. Yeah, I, there's a lot in them. There really is. I'm a night owl. Love watching you at night. I know, I'm kind of, I mean, I am a night owl. And I'm, I like doing night night videos. They're fun. And I'm happy that you guys come on. It's it's great. It really is. All right. So I think, wait, it's the sound from a car. Yeah, that's what I think. Um, I think it's just, it was a really loud car. But I'll tell you a funny story. And then I'm going to end off. These guys, next door, they had, uh, it's like a condo kind of thing. And it used to be a house, but they tore it up. Somebody bought the house. And then tore it down and built this condo. So they're next door. So this was about a year or two ago. But anyway, I used to have a roommate who was a big gardener. And he let, he passed away and he left me all his gardening tools. So would you bless me? Yes, bless you, Farah. Okay, so love your honesty with Osa. Life must be so wonderful since you have left. You must be a real pain. Mm, no, I lost the rest of it. Uh, no, my computer's a pain and my phone's a pain. Okay, you must be a pain in the butt for the COS. There will always be hope for the members while you're you're in the light. Thank you. Amazing interview earlier with DOA. Yeah, go. you can go over to DOA's site and look at it and see it. Um, so now, does anybody remember what I was talking about? Oh, yeah. Okay, about the guys. I remembered it. So, the guys are parked in the park, just like this thing tonight, only it was really loud. It was a big white truck, right? And it's super loud, and it was rattling my house. And so I, I, I went over and talked to the father, and I said, look, I'm worried about your son. These guys aren't good guys that your son is getting connected with. And he was a young kid, but he was hanging out with them. And then I could tell the dad didn't care either. They were jacking up their cars, so they were real loud. So I got pissed and I called the police and they said, OK, we'll come over. So they came over and they told the guys, get out of the driveway. You don't live here. You can't you can't be in the driveway. OK, so there's that. I think, all right, that handled that wrong. They park out in front of my house. And this was in, in, in while well, tons of leaves had fallen. It was like the fall. So. If the chat appears, just tap on the screen and the chat comes back. I'm working on it. It doesn't work all the time with mine, but I'm working on it. But thank you. Um, okay, so now they park out in front of my house, right in front of my house. And they're, you know, getting their thing going and it's making noise and it really pisses me off. 
and my friend had left a leaf blower. And so I get the leaf blower out. And I, I have my mother, we used to all, we used to call her Lucille, Lucille, like Lucille Ball, because she had a corny side to her. You know, she was herself, who was a model and a very professional, beautiful person. But then there was also her Lucille Ball, and she was just hysterical. She was funny and she was fun and she just, she knew how to party. She really did. So I have that side to me too. So I get out the leaf floor and I do my Lucille Ball imitation and I'm like, I start, you know, blowing the leaves and now I blow them onto their white truck, which is pristine clean, right? And I blow all these leaves all over there. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm getting them all over your truck. Oh, oh, here. I'm really sorry. And I'm blowing them more and blowing more leaves onto their truck. And they're getting really, really pissed off. So now they pull up another white truck in the middle of the street, sort of like, screw you. Now you've got two of our trucks. And so I, I think, well, I can handle this. So I start blowing the leaves from the one car truck over to the other truck. I'm like, oh, God, I'm sorry. Now it's going on your truck. And I, I just think I can be here all night. I got enough leaves to keep this going all night. And they finally get pissed off and they drive off. And you know what? They never came back. And I thought, go for it, man. Anytime you want, come on back because I got my leaf blower. But anyway, that's turning uh, lemons into lemonade. That's the way I, my mom used to call it, and I do too. You know, it's a good way to live. You know, just shit happens, you turn it into lemonade. That's it. And then, then there's no problem. There you go. Thank you, Janie. All right. I almost got tricked today into some Ernan Arcana. Ooh, Jesus. Yeah, be, stay away from that. And if you can, whoever is putting that on, let them know where that comes from. So you always got to take a couple of steps. You've dealt with worse bullies. Yeah, I have. Uh, don't get mad, get even. That's exactly right. And I thought, mm -mm, I can handle this. And I mean, these guys were really mean guys, but I got rid of them of my little leaves and my leaf blower. So there you go. Anyway, you guys, I love you. Jessica's brother knows uh, Kamala Harris. Why does she ask for help? I don't know. I don't know anything about that. You can ask Jessica. You know, ask her. I, 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 you know, please watch Tori Magoo's Dancing in Boston. Thank you, love it. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. All right, you guys. So please like this video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Because my subscriptions are going up. And I know Osa hates that. And it's like, ah! This is what my, old bro my brothers and I do. Ah! The pods can't jump on a religion. The poles can't jump on a religion. Okay. The poles can't jump on a religion. Okay. I'm not sure what that means. But um, good night, Tori. Thank you, Patrick. And, and Janie. Thank you all. I love you guys. I do. And I really appreciate you coming on. And I did have a rather extensive interview with D-O-A, and he's on YouTube, I think his D-O-A. So anyway, go check that out and uh, have a wonderful rest of the night. Or if you're into tomorrow, have a wonderful day. And you are welcome. And I love you guys very much. All right. I'm going to say good night. Cheers.